With summer in full effect, let's talk about some swim trunks. What's up YouTube? For this video, I want to talk about these two swim trunks I got right here. I got these black ones from Amazon, and then I have these yellow ones from Target. They're both very basic, yet stylish and affordable options. And so in this video, I just want to compare and contrast between these two shorts. Uh, first, I'm just going to do a quick breakdown of the materials and the fit. Then I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of each shorts from my experience. And then at the end, I'll give my overall thoughts. So with that being said, let's get into it. First, I want to do a general overview of both of these shorts. Both of these shorts actually have a lot of similarities. For one, they both have elastic waistbands. They both have rope drawstrings to adjust the waistbands. They both have side pockets, which is pretty much standard along all shorts. They both have an inner mesh lining and they both have a rear pocket on the right side. So yeah, from a design perspective, both of these shorts have a lot of similarities, but there are some key differences that set these two apart. In terms of materials, the Amazon shorts are made of 100% polyester, whereas the Target shorts are made of 100% nylon. And later in the video, I'm gonna do a little breakdown on how the materials affect the performance and the functionality of these shorts. Another key difference worth mentioning is that these Target Goodfellow shorts claim to offer a UPF of 50 plus, which is pretty good protection against UV radiation. On the other hand, the Amazon shorts is unknown. They do not quite specify or mention anything at all whether they have uh, UPF protection on their fabric or not. So it's really hard to say, but later in the video, again, I'm gonna talk about the functionality and I'm really gonna put these shorts to the test. One more difference between these two shorts is this is something you have to feel when you have it in hand but the weight and the thickness of these shorts, the Amazon shorts, do feel thicker and a little more durable uh, as compared to these Target shorts. But with that comes with its own pros and cons, which again, I'll talk about later in the video. All right, so in this next section of the video, I'm gonna talk about my personal experience after having broken these shorts in for a good couple of weeks. Uh, so this is my personal perspective when it comes to the pros and cons of each short. Let's talk about the pros and cons of these Amazon shorts first. Pro number one is what I mentioned just not too long ago, is the thickness of the materials. This can be a pro because after having washed these a few times, they still feel like they hold up pretty good. Uh, they're not showing really any signs of wear yet, and uh, the thickness and the durability does feel uh, like it's doing its job for the price that you pay for. Pro number two, this is more my opinion, and maybe it's just based on the black colorway, but these shorts actually do double as casual shorts too. I feel like they have a decent fit to them. I like how they look uh, in terms of having them on body, and because they are just plain black shorts, they can double as either swim trunks, or they can double as just casual black shorts if you're just going out for a casual day out. Pro number three is that because you can buy these on Amazon and they're by Amazon, uh, you pretty much know what you're gonna get an essential piece that's just gonna do its job and with a very decent price and can be shipped to your doorstep in as little as like one or two days. If you're not picky at all about your swim trunks and you just need something in your doorstep without having to go out of your way to shop for some, just buy it on Amazon and it's just shipped to your front door right there. All right, now let's talk about a few cons of the Amazon shorts. Con number one is going back to the thickness of these shorts. Because they are thicker and heavier than the Target shorts, these will absorb a little more water and will take a little longer to dry. I tried taking a mental note of this, but I remember one time when I got out of the ocean after swimming at the beach, uh, I tried to time roughly how long it took after getting out of the water until I felt like my shorts were dry again. For the most part, it took about an hour until I felt like the shorts were all dried off. Another thing along the point of water retention was that when I was wringing out the water after having it wet, uh, or after rinsing off. I also remember that I, it just felt like it absorbed more water and it just took a couple of extra rings or squeezes uh, to really get the water out. All right, con number two is that these shorts are definitely gonna attract a lot of lint. If you take these shorts straight out of the dryer after a wash, uh, you're definitely gonna see some lint attracted to these shorts. You're really gonna wanna invest in a lint roller if you're gonna travel with these shorts. All right, next let's talk about the pros and cons of these Target Goodfellow shorts. Pro number one, this is contrary to the Amazon shorts, but because these Target shorts are thinner, they seem like they absorb less water and they are quicker to dry. I also did the mental note with these shorts, but when I remember getting out of the water after wearing these shorts, I felt like it took maybe between 30 and 45 minutes to fully feel dried off as compared to the hour wait with the Amazon shorts. And the other part too about wringing out the shorts, uh, trying to rinse these Target shorts off, 
I felt like it was quicker to wring the water out of the Target shorts as compared to the Amazon shorts. Pro number two is that these Target shorts claim to have the UPF 50 plus protection. There's a peace of mind there. Personally for me, I didn't subjectively feel the difference. Uh, I did wear these shorts out in about 90 degree weather, but I would say it pretty much did the job. I did not feel burnt at all and I felt like my skin was pretty much protected and I didn't feel really hot or burned off or anything like that. So the UPF 50 plus uh, did its job. All right, now let's talk about the cons of these Target Goodfellow shorts. The major and main con about these shorts so far is that because they are a little thinner, they do feel a little less durable, uh, at least after having washed these a handful of times. I would say I washed these shorts at least three to four times now, but I am starting to notice that the elastic waistband is slowly starting to lose its integrity. It's starting to wrinkle and stretch out a little more, and you can just feel that the material is, again, losing its uh, durability a little bit. So with that being said, just based on so far, I don't think these shorts are gonna last as long as the Amazon shorts. All right, next let's talk about sizing and fit. For reference, I am 5'8 and about 150 pounds, and I usually wear a size 31 waist in men's. I got size small in both of these shorts, and I think it fits perfectly for me. Again, I also got a seven inch inseam on both of these shorts, which means that they do sit a little bit above the knee. I would say that if your waist size is between 30 and 32, I would go with a size small. All right, so after having tried both of these shorts for a while, here are my overall impressions and thoughts. Overall, both of these shorts are great affordable options when it comes to basic swimwear. If you're looking for some new pair of swim trunks this summer, I don't think you can really go wrong with either one of these two. But if you had to ask me what my personal take was in terms of which between the two I prefer, I'd probably have to go with the Amazon shorts. The Amazon shorts are just a little more durable and I like how they feel a little more versatile when it comes to not just wearing them as uh, swim trunks but also as casual shorts as well. They're a little more thick and durable which means that at least having worn both of these so far, these feel like they're going to last longer overall. The Target shorts do have its pros though. As I mentioned earlier, uh, the fact that they are thinner is good in a sense where if you're looking for something to dry off quicker with, uh, then go with these. And also, if you do want a little more guaranteed sun protection, these claim to have that UPF of 50 plus, whereas the Amazon shorts didn't quite make any specifications in that manner. The part where the Target shorts fell short for me was that they do feel a little cheaper and less durable in hand, which means that these shorts might not last as long from a longevity standpoint. But again, they are a few dollars cheaper too, so you just kind of got to pick and choose what, uh, what you value more. So with that being said, I still think you can't go wrong with any of these two options. They're both affordable, they're both uh, basic essential swimwear that will really get you through the summer season. But I'd love to hear your thoughts though. Which shorts between these two would you be rocking with? Or if you have your own swim trunks, which ones are you rocking with already? If you have any other questions about these two shorts in particular, don't hesitate to reach out and I'll help you the best I can. If you found the video helpful, please do me a huge favor, hit that like button, it'll help me out a lot, and consider subscribing for more content on style, sneakers, and science. While you're at it, be sure to check out some of my older videos here or here. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.